Well, good afternoon. It is Saturday, June 4th. It's about quarter to five. Actually, just sitting out in the dooryard and enjoying the afternoon. Got a little bit of shade. It's a very breezy afternoon. Got a few things done today, but I wanted to come out and post a video before the sun got too low in the sky and started lens flaring. Take a look around, see how everything's growing. The hosta is monstrous. Probably zoom out for that. Or... Hydrangeas coming in nice. We have a different fountain head in here. The spray was blowing outside the dish. So we took the nozzle off completely. But check this out on this hydrangea here. We actually have some flower heads starting already. And this is the last of the tulip, by the way. We still have just a little bit of tulip left. As you can see, it's a mostly clear day, very bright. So the breeze going on. Grass is getting long again. We got some good rain this week. Mama is not in the nest at the moment, but Robin built a nest in our lilac. And I will risk getting attacked. I'm gonna put this over and see. You can see in there any the eggs. Let me get out of here. <clears throat> so this is the once mighty peach tree. Leafing out. I don't see any baby peaches yet. We may get a couple. Maybe a half a dozen. But my color hosta is doing nice and the laetria is doing nice. We have a garden poodle. Went to one of the garden shops today and picked up some red cabbage and some pepper plants. And of course some chrysanthemums to put in, keep the bugs out. That is, if you want to call it recycled kale, that was in our garden. We're going to try some potatoes over here. This is a shrub hydrangea. We planted early in the spring and it's already starting to wrap around. We're going to let this take over the arbor. And this is one of the types of hydrangea that is actually is good for pollinators because some of the ornamental ones are not. You want to go this way, Teddy? All right. You're in control now? Okay. So we have these guys growing. All these tall stalks here. I was trying to look them up on plant snap. And it did not identify them. So I got to keep trying, maybe get a better picture. If anyone knows what this is, leave me a, a comment. But you see, it has almost like this dusky violet off color on the leaves. And it's very pronounced, very, you know, straight stalk, short, sharp, you know, leaves at angles, and tiny flower clusters. <clears throat> and this is the only place in the yard it grows it's not up the driveway it's not down the path in the woods only here which makes me think that maybe it came in with the fill that was used in the yard here but
Float her by there. Hey, Teddy. What? Zoom. So this is one of the patches that I, I tend to leave. Getting the red clover in, the daisies. Try to leave some, you know, some islands of wildness for the pollinators. And it also helps um, because then the bugs tend to go in there. And the birds that like to nest in the yard have, you know, places to go and hunt nearby their nests, too. So, thank you, Flutterby, for illustrating what I was talking about. Um, if the video jerks, I have a deer fly in my arm. I may smack it. But, uh, so, we got this cleaned out last weekend. Put in. Got them. Uh, sunflowers over here, like we did last year. As you can see, we have another nice spot of red clover. I think this fountain is pretty much giving up the ghost. We have a couple more on order. Wisteria is starting to come in. We um, noticed we have some down here. And it's actually is spreading too. All the way over, from there's the clump, all the way over here. Yeah, some starting here. Peony is doing good. Seeing a bunch of people on Facebook showing their, their peony. But like everything else in Marlowe, we're kind of delayed. But the mass of the lily garden and this crazy lily here, we'll keep an eye on that one. So in addition to the sunflowers over here, which is over our septic tank, by the way. That's why that tire is there. That's where the, the access cover is. Um, we did over here again, like last year. And then additionally, over here, this is new. So I went and I, I shoveled out all of the turf that was in there, all the grass, got all that out. And then we backfilled it with uh, what I call donkey soil. And that sandy area right over here, we were watching the chipmunk had dug a hole under the grass that was digging out, so that's all from a chipmunk. You can see the uh, hole there. <clears throat> so that's why that's sandy, but at least it doesn't look like they're going after the sunflowers, and hopefully they will germinate pretty soon. Love this wind. So comfortable. Got up to about, well, the last time I looked at the temperature, which was probably a couple hours ago, it was 76. But it's not humid, and this breeze is really nice. So I don't get over to this garden much. Um, it's kind of like a catch-all, and obviously it needs maintenance, so it's really kind of weedy. But we have um, Sweet William in here. Which I was just looking this morning, I did see it. So yeah, these little fuzzy guys over here. And a lot of those survived over the winter and seeded over. They were actually in the spring. They were starting pretty early because this gets good uh, morning sun in this bed. There is some kind of plaque on the back of this maple here. But this maple is growing in, mixed in with this wisteria vine over here. This whole, this is all wisteria. And then there's a wild choking vine that grows out from the woods over there and that's been growing up and kind of mixing in with stuff but <clears throat> yeah so we kind of have to fix this and we will but when those sweet williams bloom that'll be nice and I'll, I'll make sure I show all these yellow things over here are some kind of toxic buttercup and I've these are unlike the, the nice friendly buttercup that you remember as a kid. These just grow really tall. 
And I had dug up so many clumps of these. We don't know where they're coming from, how they get in, but they're, they're really spreading quite a bit. Where are you going? Where are you going? You want to see the backyard? All right, we'll go see the backyard. My goodness. All right, what do you want to show me? What? Hydrangea leafing out nice. Nice and strong. All those wild violets are still a little bit in there. But look how much bigger the leaves have gotten. And all of our pack of Sandra, you see all the new growth on there, lifting up above. Bee bomb is getting big. How much taller that is than the wellhead. Not quite any flower clumps yet, but getting nice and big. And different types of hosta back here, different varieties. This is a wild uh, blueberry that's been growing back here and it's just, that's left. Um, it's more of the Sweet William back here. Uh, there's more back here. Lots of stuff mixed in. And we actually had a lily start to flower here. It was open, but I think that one actually flowered out. And then there's there's buds on the other. There's a bunch of buds to look forward to. I think that was just a little bit of early start. <clears throat> you can see the new area that Dee worked on. Put in some stones here to add a little definition. But isn't that awesome? Look at the, the hosta and yeah, once again, I don't know what that is, but it just it looks like it all perfectly flows together. And there's the rose. We get a little bit of support behind it. A few more bags of mulch, and we'll finish back here. This is another new area too. This a rock pile back there. Chipmunks, red squirrels live in there. Um, but Dee kind of repositioned some of the rocks and put some topsoil in to make just some tear. Put in some flowers. And where are you? I think, oh, here, yeah. So here's this dahlia back here. And I think we're still waiting to see if this one is. Because she said there were two back here. Here's the rose, waiting for buds on the rose. There's one, He's starting. I think those are leaf clumps in the back. Hey, little boy. Hi. Say hi. Huh, okay. Clematis. I don't know, when I look from inside the house and I look out at this one, I see color. Like the veins are almost separating, like it's getting ready to flower. But that's for a couple of days now and it hasn't gotten any closer. I forget what these guys are called. Looks like we're not going to have a bud on this peony this year. But this one here is doing nice. I think that one will open. God, these guys have gotten so big. Now this commodus here is just really huge. I gave it this uh, line here just to kind of, because it was hanging over, just give it a little support. I don't know if it's going to grow any further though. We had a little bit of a window box here. Um, we got a new, we, we used to just cover this in mulch, but we got it's kind of like a, uh, I call it like a plastic fiber type of rug. Keep down the weeds especially, that's the main thing. But I'm not sure if you can see the detail on here on the phone. But this is, it's basically, it's a solar lamp. And there's detail of fireflies and stuff in here. So when it lights up, it looks, you know. So I'll have to try to do a night video again this year. 
or evening, get some of this stuff. Dreams do okay. I think we got to deadhead some of those, but let's go over here. Catch what's left of the May pinks, right? I mean, here we are in June, and unfortunately, they're already going. Everything just goes so quick. Even these, they, they still look good, but you can tell they're they're going. Unfortunately, but the nasturtiums getting tall on this side. Not sure if the video is picking that up. That's uh, one of my neighbors down across the trout pond from the sound of it doing some target shooting. There's that house. To oh, look who came to visit. It's Frodo Baggins. Look, Teddy. It's Frodo Baggins. Say hi, Frodo. Hi. Aren't you a pretty girl? Hi. Yeah, that's all you want. Hi. Well, how nice of you to join us. Did you want to point out anything, Frodo, in the garden that you like? Where are your favorite things? Hmm? And here's this other elephant ear hosta. And here's this little guy hanging by a thread. You want to drop down on Frodo's face? Yeah? Hey, Proto. What? You gonna chase me? Hmm? Hey, Teddy, you gonna join us? Hmm? We all just really love our yard. <clears throat> all right, so let me finish up with over by the house so we have some hosta over here with some lilies and this fountain unfortunately we've stopped trying to fix it but it's still a great planter and look at these nasturtiums now this here this morning these were standing up and in the face but they're just getting so long now they're starting to drape What is it, Frodo? What? Hi. Okay, your bright eyes are gonna like break the camera. Um, then another dahlia growing up in here. This is where we had taken the clump of peony that we put around because it just was didn't seem to be doing so well here. Yes, baby girl. Um, and then these are our irises, and these are more miniature irises. But you see this one right here starting so that's the first one and of course our saw I know what what you want to say what no I didn't think so so our Solomon seal the flowers are finally starting to wither so they'll be nice and thick through the rest of the summer but no more flowering but that's about it this uh, just a quick update oh um, of course this garden here Ow, cat. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, yes. Okay. Um, our stargazer lilies getting nice and tall, still looking healthy. They're not getting eaten up yet. But it's usually closer to July, as you can see. There's still no bud on there. Um, in fact, I hope they don't get much taller because then they're going to kind of get weighed over. Cat, you're stuck. Hey. You... Cat. Yeah. Here. No, there. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, so uh, all I really accomplished today was um, the phone cord. Uh, with the fiber, you know, I've had this line running across the yard that I pointed out before. Um, and they want to come and they want to do a trench in my yard and like bury it like six inches deep or four inches deep, which is ridiculous around here. Between the critters and the weather, that'll get destroyed. It's not a very strong line. So I had laid a couple of, you know, a few years back, I had redone and laid conduit all the way up the driveway for my phone line, buried in some spots all the way to the house to keep it protected from the critters. 
and I pulled that today. So that was, uh, I'm guessing 230 feet. It was over 200, less than three. Um, and it was, it was either kinked in some spots or getting caught in the corners, but we managed to pull that through with a, a line. So this new foam cord is pretty thin by comparison. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pull it. But they, they, that's what they wanted to do. So I have to call them on Monday and tell them, look, you know, I have a leader line. I mean, this is nothing. Um, I just want to get this off my lawn and get it fixed and, and set, you know, for the winter. And plus, it's in the middle of everything. I really, you know, it's up, it's draped. I, I want to be able to pull this plow out of here and get that out of the way so I can do things. I want to be able to mow without having to worry, you know, how close I am to things. And um, So, yeah, hopefully they come out and they can either just give me the line, I'll run it, and they can come back and just do the connections or what have you. But... <clears throat> I may even unscrew that box and see what it looks like for the connection. I may be able to do the connection myself because th this stuff that's on the lawn, this is not fiber. This is just, you know, copper. The fiber is stopping at the pole way up the driveway there. But anyway, I'm enjoying the yard. I'm enjoying the weather. Tomorrow is going to be a little cooler, which is fine by me. And uh, we'll get a little bit more done. We got some hay coming. Uh, we had to buy special hay from Canada because our producer is not yet ready um it looks like he's getting ready to cut but he hasn't cut it yet so it's not dried it's not baled so i'm having 50 bales come tomorrow we'll stack that up in the barn and we'll be good for uh a couple of months anyway before we have to start stocking up for winter because <laughs> it's all coming quick but yeah so i have more cleanup to do and some more projects for tomorrow but anyway i wanted to give an update i know it doesn't look like much is growing there's not anything new flowering the the lilac is it, played out but everything is green everything is lush and some of these trees are catching the wind and some of them are not but hope you have a great weekend and I am going to be doing some of my other videos soon uh, I got some more Ryobi stuff and some more I actually got a new attachment for the still tr uh, power or what is it the yard boss power whatever for the still with the two cycle engine so i'm going to try to put some stuff together for videos for that even if i don't have them all together i'll, I'll at least start getting footage but anyway enjoy your weekend happy june happy summer and we'll talk to you soon yeah so ignore the music because it's probably going to demonetize the video but here's a nighttime view Around the backyard. This is that light I was talking about earlier with the uh, fireflies and dragonflies and all lit up inside. Of course, we got our tiki torches. 100% would recommend. What else do we have? We have this little LED springy light here, fairy house. Some torches here, a little firefly string light guys there. Oh, look at the porch. Blue light, green light. Yeah, don't listen to the music, because if you listen, that's going to demonetize the video. See that? Way up there? See that? Oh, right about there. There's a the moon. Toenail moon. Little LED backdrop flower here. Donkeys still eating their dinner. Donkeys still have their Christmas lights up. Donkeys, you gotta take those down. Going up over the bridge. Because we have more tiki torches back here. Now, this lantern here should be lit up. It's not. But this lantern's lit up. 
this little LED lantern, same one here. More tiki torches. I think that's a Bilbo. Is that a Bilbo? Cat. Yeah, well, we can't see you. Bilbo. Child, why are you not showing up on camera? You're evil. You have no soul. Well, I'm not surprised. Okay, moving on. So, ah, back out in the front yard. Get the barn. Perpetual lights. Over here. The house there, we got some more of those lights. That's all inside the house. It looks much redder and, and more amber on screen than it does inside. Inside's nice. Outside kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, something you'd see in 70s horror film. But there's a little uh, LED swan. The archway, of course. And I'm going to grab that again because that's the moon up there. It's nice. And there's a poodle. See, there is a cat. See, I was not lying to you. It was not a, a baseless spirit. Uh, oh, yeah, she... Yeah. <laughs> I guess she gets closer, it gets darker. Okay. So, here's we're going up here because we have more stuff up here. And I'm, I'll be honest, I'm hoping... That when I turn around, when I get up here, I'm going to see hopefully some bats. Because we're really hoping the bats are doing good. So that light up there, that's a torch. That's another LED light. And that's on the grave for Suki. A perpetual eternal light, if you will. And there is a little, this little structure down here should be getting some solar light too, but. As long as we have that. Bilbo. Why are you messing up my camera, cat? You're so evil. What? What? Hey. What'd you say? You here, right? Yeah, you see, I know you don't see anything. Bilbo. Bilbo. Child. It's like this disembodied evil spirit on my film. So I'm just going to walk back down to the house. Cat what? Bilbo. Bilbo. What? Bilbo. Why do you keep disappearing on camera, Cat? That is so wrong. Cat. Oh my god. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to film up here. And hopefully I'll capture some bats. There's one. Dude, come back. There was a bat. So they're out. That's that makes me very happy. I'm pretty sure that did not capture on the film, like my evil cat, 
did not capture on the film. She's literally like walking around and rolling on the driveway and like rubbing against my legs. Evil cat captures animals and kills them and throws them on our doorstep. That's Bilbo. She was corrupted by the one ring. Anyway, Bat, you want to come and make an appearance? Come on. No? All right. Anyway, there you go. Beautiful view. Moon, planet, sunset. Wishing you all the very best of the weekend. And we'll see you in later June.